Hey there, welcome back. It's time for lesson 42, which is crazy. That means it's already been six weeks. You may have taken longer than six weeks and that's okay, but if you are doing it one day at a time, that means you've been doing meditations for six weeks. So congratulations, every bit counts, and every day you do a meditation is fantastic. And it gets you closer and closer to being completely just free of all that junk we have added on to our lives over the course of our time here. So, lesson 42. God is my strength, vision is his gift. The idea for today combines two very powerful thoughts, both of major importance. It also sets forth a cause and effect relationship that explains why you cannot fail in your efforts to achieve the goals of this course, or sorry, goal of this course. You will see because it is the will of God. It is his strength, not your own, that gives you power. And it is his gift, rather than your own, that offers vision to you. God is indeed your strength and what he gives is truly given. This means that you can receive it at any time, anywhere, wherever you are, and in whatever circumstance you find yourself. Your passage through time and space is not at random. You cannot but be in the right place at the right time. Such is the strength of God, such are his gifts. This is a fantastic paragraph. You cannot but be in the right place at the right time. There are no mistakes. And the thing about life is, life is simply learning. And mistakes happen, but they're not really mistakes because you're learning. We're all just learning. We're all doing the best that we can with what we have. And yeah, sometimes we could have made a different decision that would have gone better or, you know, maybe it would have been just a better thing to do. I can't talk about the number of times because I couldn't even count them, but where I have been unkind to another person. And that, yes, was a mistake, but also it was a learning opportunity and a chance to grow and change and practice forgiveness and, and learn because life is learning. So I love it. You, you can receive God's strength anytime, anywhere, wherever you are, whatever circumstances you find yourself. Right now, where you are, it doesn't matter. You do not have to become a certain way in order to achieve God's strength or in order to achieve favor in the eyes of God or your higher self or whatever you want to call it. The thing is, we can't really learn forgiveness on our own anyway, and we can't truly forgive and let go and move on without the help of our higher source. And so our higher source sees us as perfect. We are the ones who see ourselves as blemished. And it is through the strength and assurance of our higher source that we are able to forgive and then become who we always were, get back to that pure essence we've talked about before. All right, let's keep going. We will have two three to five minute practice periods today. One as soon as possible after you wake and another as close as possible to the time you go to sleep. It is better, however, to wait until you can sit quietly by yourself at a time when you feel ready than it is to be concerned with the time as such. Begin these practice periods by repeating the idea for today slowly with your eyes open looking about you. Then close your eyes and repeat the idea again, even slower than before. After this, try to think of nothing except thoughts that occur to you in relation to the idea for today. You might think, for example, vision must be possible. God gives truly. Or, God's gifts to me must be mine because he gave them to me. So God's not going to say he's going to give you something and then be like, just kidding, I'm not giving it to you. You have to trust and believe that these are your gifts that he's given to you and actually you already have them. They're already in your presence. You have them. You just have to recognize that they're there. 
Any thought that is clearly related to the idea for today is suitable. You may, in fact, be astonished at the amount of course-related understanding some of your thoughts contain. Let them come without censoring unless you find your mind is merely wandering and you have let obviously irrelevant thoughts intrude. You may also reach a point where no thoughts at all seem to come to mind. If such interferences occur, open your eyes and repeat the thought once more while looking slowly about. Close your eyes, repeat the idea once more, and then continue to look for related thoughts in your mind. Remember, however, that active searching for relevant thoughts is not appropriate for today's exercises. Try merely to step back and let the thoughts come. If you find this difficult, it is better to spend the practice period alternating between slow repetitions of the idea with eyes open than with eyes closed than it is to strain to find suitable thoughts. There is no limit on the number of short practice periods that would be beneficial today. The idea for the day is a beginning step in bringing thoughts together and teaching you that you are studying a unified thought system in which nothing is lacking that is needed and nothing is included that is contradictory or irrelevant. The more often you repeat the idea during the day, the more often you will be reminding yourself that the goal of the course is important to you and that you have not forgotten it. God is my strength, vision is his gift. So this comes back to that idea of perception and that yes, you look about you and you see things, but do you see them truly? Do you have vision of what is really in front of you? Um, and the way to see truly, the way to have true vision, the vision of God instead of your own sight is when we drop all those negative thoughts, all the thoughts of fear, worry, um, trepidation, like everything that's unforgiveness and judgment, all those things, they impair our vision. They create something before us that is not really there. And you're not able to see the whole picture. So through God, through forgiveness that comes from reaching out to our higher source, that's when we can truly find real vision, the vision of God, and see what is really in front of us. Pure unadulterated, exactly as it is in the highest form, in, in reverberations of love and peace. So this, this exercise, I mean, it's, they're quite specific in here of how to conduct this exercise. So I, I mentioned many, many lessons ago that it's a good idea to have your own copy of the book or to at least have the app on your phone because it, there's just so much here. Some of you may be auditory learners and it helps to just hear me read them out loud, but um, it's, it's a good idea to have the visual in front of you as well so that you can just go back over it and think through what's being said. So good luck with this exercise and I'm excited for you and the progress that you're making. And I'll see you for lesson 43. Take care.